Hello and welcome to the second teaser of the new CG Cookie 3.0 site. For those of you that don't know, 3.0 is our brand new site of the entire CG Cookie network, including Blender Cookie, Max Cookie, Moto Cookie, and a few other sites uh, that we've been working on for the last year to year and a half, and it's just about ready to go. In fact, we're going to be launching it within the next few days, and I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple of the features that I didn't show you last time, along with a couple of brand new things that basically no one has seen. And I also want to give a quick shout out as a thanks to all of the beta testers that have been in and been playing around on the site. And this included the few, uh, the few handpicked ones, along with a few randomly selected ones based on the form that we sent out, and of course all of our uh, CG Cookie citizen members that have had access for the last few weeks and have been helping us bug test and try out the features. And one of the things that those beta testers may immediately recognize is that the home page is completely changed even from actually yesterday. And one of the things that we found through a lot of our beta testing was that the new home page was causing some confusion where people were uh, under the impression that CG Cookie, as you can see we're on right now, had become a completely uh, combined site that was then catering to the Blender Cookie, Max Cookie, and all the other networks all at the same time. When in fact our intention of it was as a CG Cookie, or the CG Cookie was the educational hub that would filter in a few of the feeds if you wanted to check out the broader spectrum, or if you wanted to say focus on just Blender or just Max, then you could go into those individual sites. And so we've redesigned the homepage you can see here we've got this welcome screen along with an easy way to join if you want to sign in as a basic member or as a citizen member. We've got a few featured posts if we want you know, something that's relevant to all the networks or if we've got a new product to demo. And then we have the feeds of all of our education sites including Blender Cookie, Max Cookie, Moto Cookie, and one as of yet uh, unannounced site that you may notice. Uh, and these feeds each contain the latest few tutorials posted on those sites. And in fact, actually, it's not just the tutorials, but the latest few articles on those sites. And so you can see those coming in there. And then below, you'll notice you can easily access that site's RSS feed, the site themselves, the Facebook, Twitter. We've got our footer down here with a few extra things in here. And again, something else I forgot to mention is the ability to go to each one of those sites via these icons here or via the top navigation, which you can find here. You can also actually access any one of the individual sites by clicking on our network and choosing the site that you wish to visit. So that's the homepage. And as I said earlier, that's this, the homepage, the cgcookie.com, is really meant as the educational hub that then filters in a lot of the content from, or the latest content from each one of our individual sites to allow you to get kind of a broad picture. If you want to say, go view all the Blender Cookie tutorials, you would just click on over to Blender Cookie. But let me move on and show you a couple of the other uh, really cool features that we've worked on. One of them, or one of the issues that's always ri arisen in the past is series tutorials. As most of you probably know, or at least those of you that watch a lot of our tutorials, you know that we do series a lot. With 3D, you know, there's a lot of topics or subject matters that are very difficult to cover in a single tutorial. And so we've done lots of series, and these have always been really well received. But something that's always been very difficult is keeping track of multiple series. Until now. Now, if you go to any tutorial that's part of a series, just say such as creating an animated door for Unity 3D Part 01, and we watch that tutorial, we can load it. You'll notice it pulled it up on the Blender Cookie side because this is a Blender tutorial. So we've switched to the Blender Cookie site where, in fact, it's actually just cgcookie.com slash Blender. Or if you go to blendercookie.com, that's also there. And we can go ahead and watch this tutorial. Well, what if when you're done, you want to go ahead and watch part two? Well, in the past, you would have to go back. You would find it, you know, whether it was on the home page or under the tutorials list. One way or another, you would have to go down and find it. Well, not anymore. Now you can simply click part two or click the next arrow to go to the next part. And there you are. That's all you need to do. Very easy. You can see all the different parts involved and just watch the tutorial at will. The next thing that we've done is the ability to submit images. So, you know, with tutorials, since it's an educational experience, there's a lot of times that you're going to want to, you know, show off the, the result that you got from following the tutorial. Well, now you can. If you just simply click submit image under the topic that you would like to include your uh, result for it. Let's say you follow along with Porter's tutorial and you created an animated door. Well, if you want to show off your result, simply click submit image. 
After clicking Submit Image, you'll notice it's changed to Hide Form, or to enable you to go ahead and put in an image name, describe your image, choose the file that you want to submit, and then click Upload Image. Once you've uploaded the image, you'll get a notice that says your image is awaiting moderation. We are moderating all images that are uploaded simply uh, so that we can make sure that any image added is relevant to that topic. And now I don't have any to show you at the moment, but once those have been uploaded, you'll also have the ability to go in and from the tutorial, you can actually then click on one of those images. In this case, we can actually see this one here and we can go over view that image or we can say view all user images for this tutorial and then we'll get a list of all the images here. Now in this case there's only one and so we're in need of all you as users you know to go ahead and submit all your images and once they're submitted we will of course assuming that they're relevant to the tutorial we'll go ahead and approve those and your work will then be included in the gallery. So that's one of the next features that people have really been calling for and that we've been wanting. And you'll notice this isn't real style just yet, but these are a few things that we're still working out as we go along. But the next thing that I want to talk about is the CG Cookie Shop. So many of you have purchased products from us in the past, including the 2010 Blender ser Training Series, uh, the Vehicle Training Series. You may have pre-ordered the Low Poly Character Development Series, and or you may have purchased my book through us, the Character Development in Blender 2.5. In the past, since we are our site is based on WordPress, uh, these were all built around individual product pages and posts and things like that, and there wasn't really a shop, per se, where you could just go and say, okay, I want to purchase this product. You know, it just didn't really work that way, unfortunately. Well, now it does. Now, from any one of our education sites, whether you're on CG Cookie, Blender Cookie, Max Cookie, Moto Cookie, or any other site, uh, excluding for the time being Maven Seed and Blender Artist, actually, unfortunately, uh, you can simply go to, under the navigation, simply click CG Cookie Shop. That will take you to CG Cookie on the shop. Since CG Cookie is our hub, it also contains the actual shop that then we are... Uh, working from and within the shop you have the ability to sort by books training series or source, source files so if you're not a citizen member from this shop you'll also be able to go in and purchase any one of our tutorial source files rather than having to go in and find the actual tutorial and then download it from there you'll see we have a few featured products here including my book the vehicle training series and a couple of really awesome uh, source files that have really stellar results that we want to bring attention to but let's just assume for a second that we've got lots of uh, lots of products and we want to just filter through maybe all the different books that are not currently there and we could just click books we could then say okay well this is the one that's there we could go ahead and just add it to the cart if we're ready to buy it or if we want to check it out further we can just go to the book and now you can see all the details you can see a basic description a full description including all the table of contents we now have two sample chapters available on the book we can see additional information you know such as all the the fine details of that uh, we can now actually those of you that are kind and generous and like you know letting people know how the products were you can go ahead and submit a review just like you can on amazon or something like that for any product whether it's the book the vehicle series or any other source file even you can leave a review for that file or that product to let people know how it is if you go ahead and add it to the cart you can just say how many you want let's just say you're feeling really generous or maybe you're you know teaching out of school and you want 10 copies well you can just click add to cart and then, as soon as it's done, you can see it's added successfully. We can either just view the cart here, or you'll now notice there's a new cart icon up here that we can go to. So we'll just view the cart. And you will notice that every now and then this notice will pop up. These are notices that allow us to uh, talk about new features on the site, or if there's been you know any kind of technical maintenance or anything like that. And we are still working out some kinks where this will occasionally pop up, even if you've ch checked hide this notice. But fret not, we'll get it resolved and or remove it. But for the time being, you just click remove. We now see our shop, including the totals. In the case that uh, this were a downloadable product, such as a source file, you wouldn't actually have any shipping here. And assume, uh, upon proceeding to checkout, you can go ahead and check out, including your billing, shipping address, uh, PayPal, stuff like that. And if you have a downloadable product, such as a source file, or perhaps you wanted the download version of the vehicle series, then upon payment, you'll immediately get, or upon approval of the payment, you can see if you choose the download and add to cart, you will then be sent a download link and can just download it directly. Now, 
enough of that. You know, most of you are familiar with e-commerce shops and really there's nothing crazy cool about it aside from the fact that we haven't had it before. But there's one other thing that is very cool about it. And that is if you go to my account, which is some of the stuff that I demoed previously. And now we have a new tab in here called my orders and downloads. If you go to that, we have a full history of all the different products. In my case, I've downloaded, including all of our test products that actually ought to be removed, but we haven't got around to it yet. Uh, available downloads. So let's say you downloaded the vehicle and then you lost the download link to it, or maybe your computer crashed. Well, since you have your account, you can simply log in and click the link and you'll be able to then, it'll just immediately re-download. And there you go. We can then cancel that since we don't want it this time. And then you can go on in to, you can see your recent orders. So maybe you've had an order transaction problem, or maybe your product hasn't arrived. Go in and view it, see the status, see if it was completed, and you know, let us know any details. So if we need to look up an order number, there we go, all right there. The ability to edit your billing or shipping address, etc. So some very cool features with the shop. For those of you that like purchasing stuff from us, we'll make it a lot easier, and hopefully we'll even see a few more. You know, who knows? But regardless, uh, there's one more feature that I want to show you, and this kind of alludes back to some of the confusion we had with people not understanding the hub aspect of CG Cookie, and that is the ability from any site, whether you're on Blender Cookie, CG Cookie, Moto Cookie, or any other site uh, within our network, we have the multi-site search. So currently, if I want to say, look for a specific tutorial, I might just say, you know, assume for a second that the animated door is not right here. And so I might type in animated door. And there we go. I can see it right there. But let's assume for a second that I want to search for an old tutorial that's on Blender Cookie, and I can't find it in here because again, this is only pulling in the latest few. Well, I can then just simply say, okay, well, I want to search on Blender Cookie, and now I'll just say search for creature head. And I click go, it immediately takes me to Blender Cookie and pulls up any results that match Blender Cookie. And so you can do this again for any one of the sites here to allow you to find relevant content from anywhere. So maybe I'm on Blender Cookie and I realize, oh, I really want to know how to do this technique in Moto. So I can just simply click over here, choose Moto Cookie, and type in what it is that I want to learn. And there we are. You know, hopefully at that point we have the actual tutorial for you. But if not, then perhaps you can submit a request. So there we go. That is CG Cookie 3.0. Like I said, we're scheduled to go live in the next couple of days. I hope that um, you'll bear with us. There, there is a good chance that the entire sites will be down for a, just a little while while we're transferring things over and getting it all working. And one last thing that I want to point out is that when sites go live, if you happen to find a bug in anywhere, whether it's a dead link, uh, a graphic that's not showing, whatever that bug may be, excluding feature requests, we do ask that you not submit any feature requests at the time being, you know, just so we can get things up and running smoothly. But if you find something that's actually a bug, something that should be working but is not, simply click report a bug, and then you can go in and fill out our bug report system with a title, a description. Is it a big problem, little problem, you know, whatever it is, whether it's related to all the sites, just CG Cookie, just Blender Cookie, etc. And even better, if it's particularly if it's a graphical thing, you can take a screenshot and submit that file to us, and then we can go in and report it. Uh, through the back of our bug system. And something else I would ask too, is that if you just, before you submit something, just check out the list of already submitted bugs and you can see, just click it. And then you get a full list here, whether it's there, whether it's been solved, etc. And there you are. So you can see we've got quite the list right now, actually. Um, many of these have actually been solved. Some of these are feature requests. Uh, here you go, you can see a full list of solved ones. We've gone through a lot. The beta testers have really been awesome on this. And so there you have it. That's CG Cookie 3.0. I hope that you'll like it and it'll be live soon. Thanks for watching.